Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. And we want to thank our newest patrons. Yesterday, we did a Patreon exclusive. Yes, we want to say a huge thank you to Kelly, Eduardo, and Zavi. You guys, thank you so much. Absolutely. And again, uh, exclusives going up on Patreon several times uh, each week. Unique material that only goes up over there and you can join over there for as little as a dollar a month or even less when you pay it in advance. It actually breaks down to like 90 cents. Lloyd Austin says that U.S. troops are constructing that Gaza Pier uh, for humanitarian purposes, and if they are fired upon, they can fire back. Uh, I guess that would be expected, as we were saying uh, yesterday's video. You know, there's a lot of military hardware on the move. There's a lot of things on the move. There's a lot of unexplained items out there. Uh, it, it's just a crazy, crazy time. It is. It is. I mean, it. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. It's just so unfortunate that the whole thing is happening. Well, there there are positive things, and uh, we are going to have a video uh, coming up about a positive sign. This is Into Thin Air. Uh, he's done a really good job catching anomalies. He caught the anomaly uh, over there in the Antarctic, which showed up again and again. And here talking about the frequency waves um, that many people have noticed. I know Dutch has spoken about this. I mean, we've spoken about it but way back in like 2019, uh, showing it, it, that there's, there's a lot more than meets the eye, than meets the eye going on with the, the unexpected quote unquote weather events. Now, there is also a uh, frequency and he's getting censored on this one. Um, big time because he's been letting us know you see this anomaly pop up here off uh, the southeastern coast of the u.s uh, again this this to me is is one of my favorite zones and and i have uh, lived in these areas for quite a while and would probably be on the beach over here or in Sarasota if they were normal times. But the guides have told us to avoid being in, uh, in right on the water. Uh, and in fact, try to be away from the water for what's coming up right ahead. And I do think it has to do with technology, not, not necessarily a pole flip and, uh, you know, the whole magnetic excursion, pole flip and crustal displacement. I don't think that's yet. And, you know, we've remote viewed this. And, yeah, I do think there's going to be massive events that they might even want uh, to blame on a lot of things of a natural origin. But, no, they're not natural at this point in time and and here he's catching this these signals in straight lines off the coast of the Carolinas um, you know good catch great catch and and he's caught things time and time again so check out into thin air if you aren't subscribed to him and the other thing he noticed was a military plane that was just doing loops off the coast after that happened or just immediately after that that whatever that energetic signature was whether it was harp or something different related some sort of technology it's doing loops so his conjecture was he was wondering if if we shot down some sort of something incoming or was this you know i i've seen them search for what it makes you think they're searching for russian and chinese subs you know this is one of the things i do do on a regular basis is is check out the military uh plane activity and look for anything unusual and you know again monkey works does that that's what his channel is is all uh, about and, you know, just in these times, again, you got to you got to be cautious. And now even here, this is Oklahoma. And then we had Nebraska, you know, very far away from a uh, coast. And, and you see tornado activity that the experts, you know, this is a meteorologist saying, wow, four panel reflectivity from FDR 88D radar of this tornado. 
Never have I seen anything like that. And I was noticing the energy signature was really strange, you know, because it was coming straight up from the Gulf and it wasn't drifting. It wasn't coming eastward. It wasn't doing a normal thing. It was coming straight up and staying there. You know, again, these these are not natural occurrences. This this is weather warfare on humanity. Obviously, they, we understand their agendas. Their agendas are falling through, but they're still doing it. They're, I mean, doing it in the sense of they're, they're still putting in effect laws. Canada is, is going to put in social credit scores. How, how, how is, you know, Fluffy Hernandez up there still in charge? I, I don't get it. You know, it, it's, I do get it. But, I mean, here you have so many people understand and this, these people, they are so guilty. It, it, it's kind of beyond the shadow of the doubt. Yet, it's like humanity sees all these things and humanity's under a spell. It really is. It's under a, a, it truly is under a God spell. And, and that's actually, you know, part of the problem is that everything humans are looking at, unfortunately, the majority out there are looking at it through a lens that's given to them by the system and they can't see it clearly for what it is but the system doesn't want them seeing it clearly it just wants to get them mad as you see this is another uh, tornado in Westmoreland and and again comments on these on these systems these systems are unusually strong well when the Bible tells you it, it's an act of God and you look to the original translation and it's it's an act of those that judge humanity of, of the powerful mighty ones that are not human but view themselves as being over human humans and in control of humans and you start to get the point and you know they're inciting so much chaos all throughout the college system everywhere you look now you have police in riot gear you have <clears throat> all sorts of conflicts coming out don't forget, there's floods everywhere you look. Uh, you know, there's dams and roads collapsing, uh, people being swept away. It's just gotten to be normal. This is in China, and again, China's going to be the new police force um, for the NWO, probably briefly, again, or they could be the bulk of the police force because, you know, again, that's the most compliant society, unquestioning society that we have on the planet at this point in time. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of this is so unfortunate and it's to me, it's way too convenient to say, oh, you know, Earth is is doing her thing. She's making these changes and it's all all about the sun and it's all about Earth changes. You know, that really gets a lot of uh, leaders off the hook. You know, it gets a lot of people off the hook whereas if people really truly understood that there is like this hierarchy going on and there is someone uh behind the curtain pushing the buttons just like the wizard of oz people would start looking they would stop with the oh it's the sun and oh it's this and oh it's that and they would start looking to those who are in power and i think that would uh really be very inconvenient for the control system. I know that there's a lot of channels out there and their main job is to catch those who start, or who are starting to wake up and who are starting to ask questions and they catch them in this huge, huge net and they're going to try to diverge their belief system and their understanding where it's most convenient um, for the control system away from the control system. It's just wrong. And everything you see here in this world, every time there's, some, um, you know, something horrible that happens, there is somebody behind the controls. I, the world need not be this way. It's, it's created this way. And it's just so sad. I mean, the more awake you are, the harder it is to watch. Yeah, it's not even naturally this way. This is artificial. This is a, a complete manipulation. And people will, will say, I just think it's human nature. Well, you know, again, it depends on what you're eating. It depends on what do you have in your blood. Did you go see a, a, an MD, a, a DR? What did they tell you to do? What are you doing that they told you to do? 
uh, again, you know, we hear about the illegal uh, prescriptions <laughs> that people don't need a prescription for. They just need the cash or trade something. And then there's the legal. They're equally bad in many cases. In fact, they have to put all these labels on them, you know, telling you how bad they are, you know, clean up your acne, but you're probably going to get cancer or, you know, so many people got cancer, but their acne was sometimes better, not always. And it really just begs the question, why would anybody ever do any of it? I mean, because in my mind, I always think that I just automatically think, why would anybody do anything like that? Why wouldn't they just clean up their diet? Why wouldn't they just get more exercise, get more fresh air, get out in the sun? You know, it just boggles the mind. But what has happened is we're sold on this system. It's all sales. Everything that you see is sales. They're, they're selling you your religious beliefs and you end up giving them money and tithing, etc. Yeah, they're selling you politics. They're they're selling you the medical system. They sell you everything. This is all sales. And and the majority of people do buy into it in some way, shape, or form. Now, over here, you had, uh, I think I saw 15 was the last uh, update on this one. People injured after a vehicle crashed into a Savers thrift store in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and tried to go out the back dock. Uh, what? Yeah, I, just crazy, crazy. What's wrong with these people? They're, they're, they must not be thinking clearly. No, they're not thinking clearly. And as we said before, how could you possibly think clearly with all those towers around you? There's no way you could think clearly in a big city. You have to make your choices. You know, do, you, do you want to continue to be subject to frequencies that are having a, a bad effect on your consciousness and also causing all sorts of dis-ease to the mind, body, spirit, eventually something's going to give. And, and it's given more often than not now. This wasn't even uh, too far away. This is over White Sands area, uh, Alamogordo, New Mexico. You had an F-16 that crashed and went down. The pilot did eject, so that was curious. These two seem to happen uh, almost simultaneously. Very weird. There's a lot of curious things uh, going on over there. According to Reuters, the U.S. government ordered a new E-4B doomsday plane from Boeing that's resistant to uh, nuclear uh, particles up in the air. And yeah, of course, you know, this is what they're, they're, they are so telegraphing the fact that there's going to be some sort of what's going to look like a nuclear exchange. This has been so clearly telegraphed by everybody that's paying attention, so we should take it seriously. Um, I, I do not feel it's going to be a, a real nuclear Armageddon, but we will probably have a period of not knowing what's going on. And, and that is terrifying in and of itself. And think about what you're seeing. Now, going back to... We were talking about the protests and the riots that, that are evolving from these things. This is down in Florida. So you see Florida, you see uh, California, you see New York, you see like all over the place. It's just they're breaking out in the institutions. It feels like a new communist revolution. Well, again, the same people that brought us that are doing this. And, and we're so divided. On things you have people that recognize there's a genocide going on and then you have people because of their religious beliefs they don't think that Israel could ever do anything wrong because it's ultimately in their mind it, it, it's it's God's will and yeah it's it's the will of what that word that is taken to be God translates to which again just simply means those that judge humanity those that rule over humanity and and these are demonic forces and isn't it funny uh, and so ironic that the ones that think they're serving God in their minds they're really serving the demons but hey it, it's an upside down world and this is an upside down system it is it's it's backwards it, it's definitely backwards and if you know how to turn things inside out and look at them upside down you can see them 
clearly and and a lot a lot is going on with our our young people they're you know waking up in some ways but in then other ways they're allowing themselves to be used and used as uh, louche and used as uh, food and used as creating uh, creating a whole bunch of trouble you know but what do you tell people I mean and people are doing what they believe in they're doing what they think is right or are they getting paid to do <laughs> to do these things it's just hard to say anymore it's also it's also scripted. It's also choreographed. It's all um, things that, that, like I said, in in a in a world where people are allowed to be their natural selves, none of this would be happening. Absolutely, and so you know, it makes for a very very dangerous environment. And this is again why we've said your best thing to do in this time is to try to get out of the way as much as possible because these are not normal times. And you know, you see all over here, uh, just it's it's extreme violence going on. And you know, yet you'll have people comment and say it looks choreographed and scripted, and they get so desensitized. And yes, at the same time, certain parts can be totally filmed, and then the director says cut, and they all get up and they go their way, and then they put on new clothes and do it over again. But the reality is, people do end up losing their lives, and there is violence committed constantly. And you know, again, these these revolutions when you see how how fervent it was in the USSR and in you know Russia first and then it became the USSR and they overthrew the Tsar and you know they they put in another system that ends up killing more people than the previous system this is what it works like this is and and again so many people either are too drugged up numb numbed up dumbed down cuz yes we are losing uh, IQ points all the time with the food, with the drink, with the air, with the water, with everything else that we're taking into us, as well as those towers that are frying brain cells every single day. You know, it, this is the reality. People are getting more stupid on the whole. If you are subject to all the toxins of the system, so, you know, there is going to be a split at some point in time. That split is coming, it, and it's coming closer all the time. And in fact, many people are already engaged in splitting themselves off from the chaos as best as they can. And this is Michael Yan, who has been talking about the invasion and watching these islands. Now, yeah, absolutely. I think he's really in uh, on something right here talking about a uh, Haida Title Act is being debated in the legislature. If, if passed, it would relinquish British Columbia's ownership and jurisdiction to over 10,000 square kilometers of land and resources. Um, but also what it hit me as, you know, there's already been troops hiding on these islands and is 10,000, that number too hits me in Florida, the 10,000 islands in Florida. Um, down there in, in southern Florida off the coast where you can hide tons of troops. Uh, I, I do think, and again, Cuba is only 90 miles away. So, you know, it's, it's getting close to that time. And you have all this coming out, and this is in RT Russia today, uh, talking about P.F. Isergate and Ursula's shady deals. Again, so many more mm, uh, I'm trying to avoid certain words here you know they they buried in landfills more of those nasty black little things uh, for the plague upon the land than people in Europe why would you end up buying three, four, five, six, seven, you know, a huge amount more uh, of these items than people with the plague upon the land, if it's going to be effective. And of course, it was it was never about that. And, and everything that they sold us on, you know, hey, one and done. Well, you might need two, might need four, might need every, you know, it's, it's going to be like popping aspirin. Yeah, you know, this, this is the, the, 
you can't nah there's a, her nose didn't grow but it should have it really should have and you know her being on the phone with the lizard guy uh, Al, Al Borla from PFizer these these people are are so reptilian it's it's beyond belief and and obviously anything for their own ego greed and power including atrocities that most people couldn't even consider 4.6 billion why would you buy you know more than 10 times the amount of people and again more ended up in landfills which is leaching into the system leaching into the water leaching into the food this is just it's so beyond comprehension for most people that they uh they they just have to ignore it they do you know cognitive dissonance is it's really a very important tool for so many who are not in a position to look at what's going on you know unfortunately people stay there too long and they might stay there until it's really completely too late and for for every family there there is someone who is awake there is a very very bright light in that family and you probably consider yourself a really black sheep right now but your, your job is to very gently do your best to wake others up. And, and you can't do a, a, a loud awakening. It just makes people angry and, and, you know, you're not getting what you need. It has to be very, very gentle. So there, there is a way out of this. And I think the biggest way is for people, I mean, if they don't have a, a medical system where people are buying into the system, how is it going to continue to hold up? It, it, eventually, it's going to crumble. So if people are getting healthy, stepping out of the system, not taking in the poisons that they put in our food, we're going to get healthy and we're not going to need the whole medical system, which is really just a joke nowadays anyway. Um, oh, we got to start somewhere and we definitely can't lose hope and we need to keep pushing forward. And we have to look um, at everything and think beyond the obvious, too. And so this is talking about those, you know, obviously fake clouds that are put up there. Now, this says, you know, do you remember back to the first few months of the plague upon the land and how there weren't planes in the sky and the skies were clear with real clouds and we had a real spring? Now it's back to gray, gray, gray. Have you no <coughs> Have you noticed? Well, we also know that we see a time in the near future where no no planes fly. So you have to be aware that they might call out their own agendas <clears throat> in order to bring in something bigger, a bigger part of their agenda. So it's great that people are gathering to speak about uh, stopping this. That's awesome. Just look really closely at every single person that is speaking look at their ties, uh, look at where they've gone to school, and see if they have ties to the same old, same old. Because this system hasn't done this to us once. This system does this over and over again, and there's so much uh, evidence of it everywhere you look. Look at this. These are underneath uh, the ocean, and you know there's so much buried under the ocean, there's so much buried under mud. You know, these angles that are so perfect, they don't happen in nature. Mm -mm. No, very, very curious to say the least. You know, what about all these boats buried in San Francisco under the streets? Well, there's been floods, uh, you know, and uh, I know the Sacramento floods and yeah. Um, but was this just because of the gold rush that brought all the migrants uh, in again because of gold search for gold migrants migrants gold there's a pattern here and you know again there's more than one uh, objective but they use the same things time and time again these are under the streets in San Francisco there's so much buried underneath us physical matter is music solidified that, that was Pythagoras and you can see, um, oh, yeah, and it, it, it's, it's as above, so below. This is how we know 
um, per se that you know planets really are roundish spherical uh, they really do uh, circle their suns their suns really really do uh, go in transverse uh, space you know space is not a vacuum think of it more of a less dense sea so to speak and if you do think of things as as being if you think of space as being more of a sea then it also will hit you that boy there's got to be a lot of life out there and there certainly is Mm -hmm. i mean this makes me so happy because it's such a great example of how sound uh comes to solidify so when you're working on someone's energy field and you bring that sound around their energy field into perfection it helps their body come together into perfection and it helps it heal um it, it's something that's just so amazing so incredible it's something that i get to see when we work on people um i, I can't get enough of it i can't get enough of these examples they're they're just beyond beautiful to me it, it just proves that everything has a certain harmony uh, each one of our bodies we put off a certain frequency because of our because of our shape um and we even we even put off certain probably bad frequencies because of traumas because of accidents because of scars bumps bruises but all of that can be put back into perfection and give the body it, it, its ultimate chance to heal I, I just love this and this this gives you another thing that could be blasting us and and we're not really realizing what it's doing to our bodies and that's the music that we listen to and again you know the rockefellers were part of the uh ones that changed things from 432 hertz to 440 and and again most music is very very disharmonious uh, and if you are subjecting yourselves to you know the modern music out there it, it, which we know is coming from people that are truly uh, they worship the satanic system in every way shape and form then we are obviously lowering our frequencies and even lyrics which you know are playing in the background even if we don't even understand the lyrics or what they're saying it's still subliminals so get out there in the sun cindy and i were doing a, a lot of work out in the sun yesterday um, we were out there in the yard for hours no sunscreen no sunburn um just good energizing prana and as we said in other ages there's no need to actually even and this is mind-blowing for some but uh, for others you'll understand that in other ages uh, there's no need to actually literally eat anything as we do in this age because Ultimately, everything you're eating is energy that's coming from the sun in one way, shape, or form, or, uh, or other stars, which again are other suns. And so we can skip uh, the process in the middle if we are in, say, like a golden age and just take the life force directly from the sun. And even in the darkest of the Kali Yuga, there are masters, yogis, and the like that are able to do this and have even been monitored by scientists and and do things that defy the laws of nature but again those laws of nature are given to us by a system that sells us on bs make sure you take time to be a human being not a human doing learn from the kitty source bless and namaste namaste